Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I come to you live from Austin, Texas with helicopters and SWAT teams crawling all over the place and highways shut down everywhere. Our crew went out and they're all laughing in there, so it must be powerful. Coming up, if you're a TV viewer, not just a radio listener, you're going to want to go to Infowars.com forward slash show to see the free feed, the nightly news and subscription, PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, but they're saying we have incredible footage of Emperor Obama arriving, and they're all in there laughing uh, and rubbing their bellies. So this must be good. I haven't seen this yet. They're loading it into the computer right now uh, off the digital cards. So we're going to go to this video raw. Just shot minutes ago as the imperial leader uh, arrived uh, in all of his uh, pomp and circumstance. David Knight, you're going to be back on with us in an hour and a half with Steve Quayle, who's coming up. Uh, but you're going to be interviewing Mr. Bundy, Clive and Bundy. Uh, other points you'd like to add about what we're seeing. I mean, this is history. These ranchers are hard folks. It's a really hard life out there. Uh, and they're serious people. And they're, and they're really a relic of what America used to be. And, uh, you know, they're just really showing restraint compared to what just the World War II generation would do. When you see the swagger and the, and the, and the attack dogs and the hatred in the eyes of the BLM people, these people, I don't even hate them. They are just literally little boys working for evil who think they have the authority because they work for the de uh, you know, delegitimized, uh, occupied federal government. Alex, it's... <laughs> It all boils down to what Ammon was just telling us about that 59-year-old woman. They came up on her from behind. They hip-checked her, threw her to the ground, I mean, and then jumped on her. That's the kind of thuggery that we're seeing here. You're talking about a, a way of life dying. These are the, the ranchers and farmers from the 18th and 19th Notice they attacked century. who they thought was weakest first. That is the essence of cowardice and of being a yeah. low-life predator. I mean, I, I can't even get excited unless I'm outnumbered in a fight. Uh, with men and then it's pretty exciting you know and, and then i can really be, become a, and i couldn't imagine assaulting a woman you know as we were driving in alex we went across a cattle crossing a cattle guard that they put in the uh, streets to keep the cattle out of the, out of the area we're standing right across from a sign that has a warning about cows and said that says that this is an open range this has been here a long time this family is not the interloper everything though is changing this is 21st century america as obama's coming in with his imperial trappings you've got his gangs of thugs out here attacking people when they can get them separated off as individuals we saw this happen at the open carry rally in san antonio they were very respectable when it was just about when it was about a thousand people there with guns slung over their shoulder. But as soon as the crowd started dispersing, they started hassling individuals again. An instinctive hatred of their food, an instinctive yeah. hatred of their food, not being sheep, but actually becoming men again. And again, I don't want to indict the entire bureaucracy. It, it, it's, it's been more honorable in the past. It is now it's it's rotten. It's like a rotten milk. I mean, it, it's the apples are all going rotten. Listen, I've got. Uh, Steve Quayle on, who's always riveting and informative and would say stuff 10 years ago that I would just roll my eyes at that unfortunately has all come true. It's so so wild. He's going to be on this for like an hour and a half at least, but I'm sure he's going to want to get updates as well. So at about 40 after this hour, unless you, I know you're going to do that interview after that, feel free to take us up to the line where the feds are at. Uh, feel free to, you know, survey stuff. Feel free to be getting shots. We'll be having live feeds, just a video only. While, yeah, right uh, now, we haven't seen any, Alex. We, they, they were saying that just right here, if you look at how close these, these uh, buttes are right here, they said they had a bunch of snipers out here just a few days ago, uh, but uh, they were just trying to intimidate people. So they laughed about it, and they said, if that's as good a shot as the snipers are, well, they don't have anything to worry about. But uh, they're now, I haven't seen any yet. We're going to drive around and see if we can find where the uh, marking line is. All right, well, great job. At about 40 after or so, unless it gets in the way of something more important, that's your discretion. Just be wherever you want at 40 after for a quick three-minute update or go down and talk to some of that crowd, uh, get their take on it, get a shot of that sign, the cattle crossing, because uh, we're going to put this in Obama deception too. Uh, we're going to be right back. Thank you so much, David Knight, for going out there. They've been assaulting reporters as well.
It's just unprecedented. And saying that most of the county is a free speech non-zone. Just welcome to North Korea. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Well, he is one of the biggest non-terrestrial radio hosts in the country and the world. Steve Quayle uh, wrote about chemtrails 20 years ago. He wrote about... The genetic manipulation, the plan to create genocide and transhumanism 15, 16, 17 years ago. His new book, uh, I can't wait to read it, uh, gets into their master plan. And I, really, I look back over the years, and, and I always thought he had a good heart, and, and I knew a lot of what he was saying was documented. Some of it was so far out, I thought, man, you know, this guy just, just goes too far. And unfortunately, so much of what Steve Quell continues to cover keeps turning out to be true including military targeting of everyone's home in databases with GPS to your front door for drone attack. He reported that five years before they admitted it, mainstream news. I mean, it, it, it's just so crazy how criminal this system is. By the way, it's official. Just came across the news wires. Uh, we just saw it on Fox News scrolling. House Oversight Committee officially holds Lois Lerner in contempt. There it is. Republicans vote to hold former IRS official Lois Lerner in contempt of Congress. And let's scroll down a little bit more there. Is that a report they were going to vote or did they vote? Because Fox said they did do it. Re 
Republicans on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee voted on party lines today, just minutes ago, to hold in contempt of Congress the former Internal Revenue Service official at the heart of the agency's inappropriate, inappropriate, pure Soviet-style persecution, commissar garbage, scrutiny of political nonprofits that weren't anti-American, basically. This is the first congressional lawmaker to have acted to hold someone in contempt for asserting his or hers Fifth Amendment rights. Uh, they're holding her in contempt because she goes out and makes statements publicly, makes statements after taking the fifth, and has been caught being a liar. And they held hold her in contempt in 2012. Now they're looking at some type of congressional criminal charges, which Congress can do. And this is a real crisis we're in. And there are good people in Congress. That's why you have the Republican and Democratic leadership. Every time an inside leak comes out in the news, mainstream news, they're worried about what? The Tea Party. They're worried about the military, they're worried about Christians, they're worried about rural communities. They're worried about libertarians, they're worried about constitutionalists. That just means people that are common sense and aren't for secret police and kids being taken from their parents for no reason and GMO and fluoride in the water and endless wars and funding Al-Qaeda. Remember when that was kooky when I talked about it 12 years ago, now it's mainstream news? This is not our government. This is criminal groups sowing chaos against every nation to play us off against each other while the multinationals are above the law with diplomatic immunity now getting carbon taxes, Obamacare taxes or international tax to foreign banks. That's what Obamacare is. IMF World Bank money. I mean, we are literally, just like a third world country, being sucked dry. And I want to get Steve Quell's take on the standoff uh, in Nevada, we saw 20 cowboys ride across today and get 30 of the cows back that the feds are breaking the water pipes from the wells built 100 years ago. Uh, the family's been there for 144 years. Uh, this is all unfolding right now, ladies and gentlemen. And the cowboys, uh, our guys have high-def footage they're going to be uploading tonight. They're working really long hours. Uh, some of the incredible images that they've gotten from out there already we're showing on screen. But this is the last family of 53 ranches they've run out or bankrupted. And they, you see all the signs about cattle crossings. They have the surface and grazing rights. And for folks that don't understand that, I want to get Steve Quell's take on this first. Then I want to get into the geopolitical war brewing. Next hour, we're going to get into his new book that gets into what they cover in the movie Noah. I mean, it's all in Genesis. It's all in Leviticus. Uh, and it's what the elite, what the elite are doing now is what the Bible says was done before. And they're trying to play God, ladies and gentlemen. And, and so we're going to cover it all with Steve Quayle, stevequayle.com. Steve, I'm very excited. You also have a new Spanish site, because I know you're really big in Latin America. And, I'm, and we need to do this as well. But uh, tell us about your new Spanish site. Well, and, and for the record, I'm learning Spanish very slowly, Alex. And I'm not, uh, you know, I won't murder the name in Spanish. But they can go on my website, stequail.com. And Timothy Alberino is a man who's lived in Peru for the majority of his life. Brilliant. Knows what's going on around the world. And especially in the area of the scientific finds that have to do with giants, ancient civilizations. He's so connected down there. And as you know, that they found the giant skulls from Paracas. And Timothy is updating it. And we have a lady from Argentina who's probably one of the finest translators. So genesis6giants.com. It's on my website about uh, a third of the way down the right-hand side of the page. It's in totally Spanish. And what I found, Alex, is the Latino and South American news feeds have so many, and Hispanic news feeds have so much more truth and multiple. I'm talking thousands of eyewitnesses. It's like once you hit the, uh, the electronic frontier of the United States of America, it seems like everything is done to control people from understanding the truth. So it's uh, Genesis 6 Gigantes. I guess it's, I, I can't even and try and pronounce it. But the bottom line is it's wonderful. Uh, the editor is, is an amazing man. And my translator, Monica, is an amazing translator. And these people have connections throughout the entire Hispanic and Latin communities. And, uh, you know, again, we're going to translate back into English the good stuff. But uh, thank you for mentioning that, Alex, because, again, there are so many people that need to know what we're talking about. And quite candidly, you would be well advised to do the same thing because as they clamp down on us here, they can't clamp down on us everywhere absolutely and even mainstream news said those skulls which you've been obsessing on for 20 years in a good way are not really even human dna 
And this just gets weirder and weirder. And I don't even know what to say anymore. It's gotten so strange. We'll cover some of that in the next hour. But but Steve Quayle, obviously, we're not getting the whole history that the elite are actually aware of. We know the Alexandria uh, library, library was not really destroyed. I, we'll, we'll cover all that with you coming up.